Do you back up your computer? What? You don't? You should. This is the basics of how to download, install, create, rescue media, backup, and restoring your PC using Macrum Reflect, the free edition. You back up your files, right? Well, you should back up your computer too, meaning your hard drive, as well as all your important files. For instance, if your computer becomes infected by a virus like ransomware, you can easily restore your computer to the state that it was in when you backed up your computer with a backup image of your hard drive. Also, then you don't need to start from scratch by reinstalling Windows. Using Macrum Reflect Free Edition to make a backup image is one of the best and easiest ways to ensure you can restore your computer if disaster strikes. In this video, I will show you how to get, install, and use Macrum Reflect. This is the Macrum Reflect website for the free edition. If we scroll down, you got some information about Macrum Reflect. There's a chart that shows you the difference between the free version and the commercial versions, or rather the paid versions. But we want the free version, so we'll hit Home Use. And you have the option of providing an email address so that you're sent a code so you can register Macrum Reflect. Or uh, during the install process, this will also pop up so you can get a code to be able to register. This is another alternative to be able to get a copy of Macrum Reflect Free Edition in MajorGeeks.com, my favorite freeware site. So if you uh, put Macrum Reflect Free Edition into the search bar, it will bring up this page. Hit download. The download will start in just a few seconds and hit save. I'll put an address for both of these sites and the information below. Now let's take a look at the file we downloaded. This is a menu that I created on here with Open Shell. And this is a shameless plug. I did a video about Open Shell not long ago. So go to my channel, subscribe, and take a look at it. Go to Downloads. There's the file that we got. Double click on that. and hit download to download the actual install file which shouldn't take long do you want to allow the following program to make changes to this computer well yes next Next, I accept the terms in the license agreement. Uh, of course we do. Next, we want the home edition. Here's where you can register your copy of Macrum Reflect Free. You put your email address and hit get my code and they'll send you a code to be able to register your copy. And I'll put a, an example in. Hit get my code. An email has been sent to, well, examplegmail.com with further instructions. Okay. Now I've put in my code and registered my copy of Macrum Reflect. And this is the window that I get then. Hit next. Install. Yes. Launch now. And hit finish.
This is the window that you get when you start Macron Reflect. Now that you have Macron Reflect free installed, what's your next step? Why it would be to make your rescue media. And you would use either a disc, DVD disc, or a thumb drive. But the file is not quite uh, one gigabyte, so a thumb drive might be overkill. So I use a DVD for my rescue disc. To create your rescue media, go to other tasks, create rescue media. Uh, we're using the CD DVD burner. And yes, I still have one of those. Build. Well, that took a few minutes, but it's finishing up burning our optical media now. And there it is. Hit OK. Close. And our next step would be to check out our rescue media, see if it will boot up in the computer. You may ask, Dennis, why do we need a rescue disk? Well, if something happens to your computer, if it gets a virus that can't be removed, uh, if worse yet, if it gets ransomware and you can't get into your files because they're encrypted, or worse yet, your computer just won't boot up. You can use the rescue disk to boot up and once it's booted up, you'll have the Macron Reflect window where you can start restore from your backup image. I booted up my rescue disk just to see that it's working and it's always a good idea to see if your rescue media does work because you don't want to end up in a situation where you really need to restore your computer and you put your rescue media in and it doesn't work and you can't restore your computer back. So, good idea to always check it out. Now, how do you tell your computer to boot up into your rescue disk? Well, that's our next step that we'll take a look at. To get into your BIOS to change the order of boot up, you need to use your F keys. Uh, which F key you use varies from computer to computer. You have to check your user manual to see which F key it is that will bring you to the BIOS window. But on one of my computers, here's an example. I press F2. While it's starting up, I tap it and I'll get the BIOS window. The top menu has it will start with information and I use the right key to move the highlighted area over to the boot menu. And from there, there's boot priority. And then I select which one I want to boot first. And in this case, I want it to boot from my CD DVD player because my media is a disk. So I would select this, then use the up and down arrows, or in this case, the up arrow, to make it number one. I change the order of boot up, and you can see on the bottom, F10. If I hit F10, that will save and exit, and it will start booting up from my rescue disk. We've created our rescue media. The next step is to make a backup of the hard drive. The backup will be an image of our C drive, which is a compressed copy of the drive. I've plugged in my thumb drive, which holds about 128 gigabytes. And the backup will take about 13 gigabytes. And it'll take about an hour and a half for the backup to complete and that's on a one terabyte drive that I have. You start by selecting the drive that you want to back up, which is the C drive in my case. I select, made sure that all the partitions are selected, 
and then hit images disk in the next window where you want to back up to go to and my thumb drive is called G drive backups that's the one I want there's a down arrow to change it if you like and there's another way of selecting which destination you want to make it to next there's various uh, default settings you can just leave them as they are and hit next image summary and saying what it's going to back up and you hit finish and it will start in my case I don't want to make it back up right now I just wanted to show this as an, exa as an example and that's the operation to make your backup now we want to verify the image to make sure that it's a valid backup a very important step because we wouldn't want to find out that the image is corrupt when you really need to restore your computer. In the Macron Reflect window, we have these tabs. So we had been in backup to create our backup. You hit the restore tab with your thumb drive plugged in and uh, or whatever media you have your backup on. Down at the bottom says other actions. Hit the down arrow. Verify image. And hit verify. And this will take some time too. Uh, probably about the same amount of time that it took to make the backup. But as, as I said, it's a very important step to make sure that you do not have a corrupt backup. Oh my god, a disaster has struck and you need to restore your computer. You've booted up your rescue media. Macron Reflect Free is running. You've plugged in your uh, backup media, like in my case, my thumb drive, and it's all set to go. How to restore your computer. You are in the Macron Reflect window. Go to the Restore tab, Restore Image, okay, it will show the source, which in my case is a G drive, the destination, local disk, and you can make changes in this area. Next. And it has a list of the partitions that it will restore. And finish. Now in my case it takes about uh, 20 minutes to restore my one terabyte drive. In your case it may vary but uh, it won't take as long as a backup. And that's how to restore your computer. Those were the basics of downloading, installing, creating rescue media, backing up, and restoring your computer using Macroom Reflect, the free edition. It's really an indispensable tool for your computer. On You should have it on any PC that you have to ensure that if disaster strikes, you can restore your computer back to the condition that it was in when you made your backup. Thank you for watching. Leave any comments, uh, like, and subscribe below. See you next time.